Welcome to the MECO Graphics training video. This video demonstrates how to create a Gantt chart. There's three basic steps to create a Gantt. Set your timeline, add tasks and subtasks, and add your timeline elements. So let's create our Gantt. From the MECO Graphics Charts ribbon, choose Gantt from the dropdown, and I'm going to choose a blank Gantt chart. That just means it doesn't have any populated timeline elements in it yet. Once I insert my Gantt chart, my first step was define my timeline. To do that, I'm going to click on Calendar. And then I have the ability to just choose my date range. I'm using click and then shift click to multi-select the months of February and March. And then I click OK. In the Edit Chart ribbon, you'll see that I have the ability to choose years, quarters, months, weeks, and days, or any combination. I'm choosing months and weeks. I also have the ability to format what those weeks or months look like from a pre-populated list. Now that I've entered my date range, I can go to step two, which is creating my tasks. And if I double click on one of the pre-populated tasks, I can certainly just replace it with my own text. And I can click on this subtask and do the same. At any point, if I'm entering tasks and I hit the Enter key, it will insert another task at the same level as my current task. I can also promote and demote tasks. For example, if I click Meet Stakeholders, I can move that left to make it a major level task or I can move it right. I can also use shortcut keys to do the same. So here I'm clicking Shift Tab to go left and Tab to go right. I can also move tasks up and down and rearrange the order. What I'm doing now is I'm selecting them all and I'm clicking the Delete key because I want to show you that you can copy and paste from other applications. So I have this list of tasks in Word. I'm going to copy flip back over to PowerPoint and just paste my entire task list in, which makes it a lot easier and faster. And then I can just promote or demote tasks as needed. So I'm using my multi-select shift key and just clicking my tab button to make those subtasks. And I'll do the same for the rest of the tasks in this list. Now that we've finished adding our tasks, we can go to step three, which is adding our timeline elements. So I can just right click anywhere in this timeline area, and I have a multitude of different elements that I can insert. I'm going to insert a bar, and then with that bar, I can pick it up and move it. I can also extend it by clicking and dragging. And I can add all of my timeline elements anywhere in this chart, picking them up, moving them, copying and pasting if I want. So I'm adding one more, and then here I'll just add a milestone. I'm going to jump to a completed Gantt chart here and just show you some optional formatting options that you have. I'm clicking the Format button, which opens up this window, and I have lots of different options for formatting my Gantt. I'm going to show you just adding grid lines. So at the Weeks level, I can check this checkbox, which adds those vertical grid lines. I can also add shading if I want for a bolder look. I'll turn that off for now. But I also want to add horizontal grid lines at the task one level. If I click on the style tab, I have lots of options for color. So for example, if I want to change that bar color to a different color, I can do so here. I'll choose a different blue. And maybe I can also color my task list section, which is currently white, but I can make it that same blue. If I click on the third tab, I have even more options 
for formatting my Gantt chart. Some of the ones I want to call your attention to are font and size. You can also change what is defined as the first day of the week and what the first week of the year from the first full week or the first day. And that concludes this training. Thanks for watching. For more information on Mechographics, please visit our website at mechographics.com.